So I'm here with Gemma from the ICC Wales. It's lovely to have you here. Thanks for being here. Um, tell me a little about what you've got. You guys have got coming up. What's, what's big for the ICC? Yeah, we've got a really exciting year coming up. So um, we're just about to have the Royal College of Nursing with us um, coming in early June, which is amazing. So really good numbers and great use of the facilities, both the venue and the local hotels as well, which is really exciting. And then a busy summer. So we've got all sorts. We've got conferences, exhibitions. We've got a Comic Con. Uh, we've got religious um, events going on. So yeah, lots, lots going on. How many people can you is, are going to be attending this this year? Do you know roughly? Yeah, the venue can fit five up to five thousand delegates at any one time. So um, lots of events will take over the full twenty six thousand square meters of the venue, and that will allow them to have the five thousand. But equally, we've got smaller meetings that will happen. So a boardroom for sixteen, or we could have a conference for fifteen, one hundred fifty, five hundred. So it's a really nice, even though it's a large capacity, we've got lots of footfall there that we can have smaller spaces for. Nice. And what, what's, what's the sustainability on that? Is that? How sustainable is the venue? It's, yeah, we're really fortunate. So we opened in 2019. So as a new venue, we've already adopted lots of the latest sustainability initiatives within the building. So um, with regards to the air conditioning, the lighting, the windows. Um, but we've recently launched two amazing campaigns that we're very proud of. Um, one is um, Fair Share Cymru. So Fair Share is a, a United Kingdom national company and we have a Cymru, a Wales arm. So we are working now with clients to encourage delegates to bring along some items, non-perishable items. They will then be collected by Fair Share Cymru and they are donated to local schools, um, community centres, um, homeless shelters. So it's really nice uh, you know, to give back to the local community because we obviously know about the economic impact um, and the the generation of income that comes into the venue and, gen and destination because of that. But it's really nice for us to give back to the community. And the other arm of that is event cycle. So we all know at the end of an event, there's lots of material that's left over. That could be lanyards, it could be t-shirts. It could be, as an example, juggling bags that we had from a team building event that we ha hosted. Um, it could be banner stands. And event cycle will come in, take those items away, repurpose them, and then donate them to local charities as well. So as an example, we had pop-up banner stands that were repurposed into draft excluders for hostels. We've had the um, some of the circus activities um, and the juggling bags I mentioned they've gone into local schools we've had an old sound system that went into a local theatre so again just nice little pieces that make a difference to the local community. So you, you mentioned you opened in 2019 that must have been difficult with uh, with <laughs> Covid going on. Just a bit we, we like to remain positive so we had um, six incredible months and that's all down to the team that came in so I started a year before we opened but the team and the sales director, Danielle, had been working on this project for a number of years. So we had a, a really busy six months of, of events. And then the events that we lost because of COVID, 84% of that business we were able to retain. So they either moved to the following year or they moved forward by four years. So, for example, we've just delivered a medical association conference that should have happened in 2021, that has only now happened. So we were really proud of that. And it was really important to us for, you know, for our profile and for our reputation that we had that flexibility with clients. And then we got to reopen again. So we got, you know, we got the first opening and then we got a second opening. So, um, so yeah, really, really good for us. Nice. Well, that's going to be all. Thank you so much for stopping by the stand and having an interview. No worries.